morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are all of you doing today? Great. I hope you said great. I'm doing great, and we're going to go out and start our day by taking Jaw to the park. And what we're going to vlog, I, I really actually don't know. I know that I want to go try this southern cooking restaurant that I noticed when I was driving around yesterday. And there's something over there that I vlogged once before, but it's also highly possible that it has changed a little bit in what... I started vlogging almost four years ago, and this was within my first 100 vlogs, so in the last three years, it might have changed, and one thing I know for sure about it has changed that I'll mention when we get out there. Other than that, we're just gonna drive around, look for interesting things to look at, talk about, and just kick it today, if you're cool with that. Days with Jordan the Lion, you all, Ja, we're out of here. Let's go. It begins right now. He's excited for the dog park, always is. He loves it. Kind of tame for an 11 a.m. dog park visit. John was in a real hurry to get here today, so we didn't stop, but I saw something on our way over here that we'll stop off and take a look at. I thought this was so cool and such a great idea. Not too many dogs and nobody's out there really playing, so he just walked around and then came back and plopped down in the shade. I hope the boring time that we're having out here isn't going to be the sign of things to come today. Come on, Ja. Do something exciting. Do a backflip or something. Nice sniff in the ground. That's something at least. What a good dog you are, huh? What a good boy. Hello. Okay, so I feel like every time I decide to not plan a vlog, I run into something amazing and I started today's vlog by saying, ah, let's just see what we run into. And look what we ran into. In order to cheer up all the passerbys, they formed a dragon community. <laughs> Isn't this great? Practicing safe social distancing they're even six feet away one has a face mask on which is you know that's very responsible the other i think we can forgive since he breathes fire and maybe he just can't hold it in so this said try some dragon wings and it's not a restaurant <laughs> they actually drew on some dragon wings for the fun photos so you'll notice that you can see the wings there they even put little places to stand. And then, <laughs> in case you didn't know, there's the camera. So, you and your friends can be dragons together. You know what? Every little bit helps, and this place definitely helped me today. Oh, and it looks like they must have put this up near May 4th because you can see the little Star Wars Yoda here. Found out recently they call Eric Singer the drummer of Kiss Yoda. <laughs> That's funny. Friendly dragon exhibit. Dragon facts. In many legends and mythology, dragons breathe fire, but they also have been known to breathe ice. Some of the most famous dragons in modern literature have been written about by J.R.R. Tolkien, Weiss, and Hickman, George R.R. R. Martin, and in the poem Beowulf. Some dragons have lairs or caves. Our dragons enjoy the North Hollywood lawn and sunshine, but also know how important it is to wear masks when greeting friends. Dragons don't eat nice people. Well, that's good to know. I like to consider myself a nice person. Oh, we got a sleeping one out front. Oh, and then look, I didn't even notice this. There's a baby dragon. So he's fallen over or had a rough night. I 
I always hope that people doing this will inspire other people to do it. So maybe you can be the first in your neighborhood to do something like this if you're watching and you don't see it in your area. All right, we're entering North Hollywood. That's what that NoHo is up there. NoHo Arts District is what, are they, what they call it. All right, so the last time we were over here, this was Sweetie Pies. So we're not gonna get any Sweetie Pies today, but that's what inspired me to wanna try this new southern kitchen place that we're gonna try today. But if you walk right up here along the side, about three years ago, I was just wandering around and discovered the Television Academy Center over here. And they had all kinds of great statues. And I remember, <laughs> this is how early in the vlogging process this was, that I came by a man playing a violin, and I remember saying in the vlog, I don't have a clue who that is. Now I've seen that guy <laughs> mentioned millions of times. But look at that, isn't that great? Television Academy. So what reminded me of this is in my pursuit for new apartments, I checked out this apartment over here, Academy Village, and I remember that there used to be a Bill Cosby statue over here, and I'm pretty sure they removed it. Let's go take a look at who's here. You can see right off the bat, Johnny Carson. Probably, maybe arguably, but probably not arguably, the greatest talk show host for late night of all time. Now you'll notice we have two columns of busts and statues, so we'll work our way up each side. Sorry for the wind. Here's Bob Newhart, you can see. We'll get real close because of the lighting and everything. So here we have James Garner as Maverick. Moving along we have Oprah. And then here we have Sid Caesar. And here we have Jackie Gleason. As you can see with this shade over here, it's extremely hard to get some of the facial features on this side. These are just producers. This is Dick Wolf and Chuck Lorre. Now here we have Angela Lansbury from Murder, She Wrote, right next to Alan Alda from M.A.S.H. And then we have, on the far end, Danny Thomas, the man who founded St. Jude and make room for Daddy and the Danny Thomas Show and helped start the career of Andy Griffith. It's a great one. Everyone loved Danny Thomas. And here's Howard Cosell from the wide world of sports, but I always think of Better Off Dead, the, uh, the two Asian guys that keep challenging Lane to the drag race, and the one guy, Lane says, well, one can't speak English, and the other one learned how to speak English from listening to Cow Howard Cosell on Wide World of Sports, so what's worse, not speaking English at all, or only sounding like Howard Cosell? Then right here, Dick Van Dyke, and the Dick Van Dyke Show. Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So we'll work our way over to the other side now where there's some sunshine. We should be able to see these a little bit easier. Oh, oh yes! Tim Conway. I forgot who all's here, so this is kind of a nice reminder for me. Gotta love Tim Conway. He just passed away. Carol Burnett Show. Dorf. And right beside him we have famed journalist Barbara Walters. The woman who supposedly can make anyone cry. Then here we have Merv Griffin, host of the Merv Griffin Show and famous television show creator and producer. Looks just like him, that's great. And then anchorman Peter Jennings. And Uncle Milty, Milton Burl. This is one of my favorite, even though I don't come very often, it's one of my favorite free things to do or to recommend for people to come check out. There's Ed Sullivan. The man who had the Beatles, Elvis, famous for breaking bands, but Elvis was the one that was 
filmed above the waist because of his gyrating hips. And the Beatles deafening performance there. We actually went to the Ed Sullivan Theater when I was in New York this year. After Ed had it, it became a lot of things, but eventually it became David Letterman's Theater, and now it's Stephen Colbert. And down here we have another famed anchorman, Tom Brokaw. Mario Krutzberger, Don Francisco, it says, host. I don't know him. And then Bob Barker. Truth or Consequence, The Price is Right, All Around Humanitarian, and don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. He reminded us. Then down here we have, ooh, Rod Serling. Twilight Zone. That's a great one. That looks great, just like him. David Sarnoff. Big wig executive. And the man who met Andy Griffith. No, it's it's actually Andy Griffith. Matlock, Andy Griffith, facing the crowd. Legend. Then down here, as we make our way back towards Johnny Carson, on the end we have Al Michaels, sports announcer. And Philo T. Farnsworth, the inventor of television. Now that's not all, because if you start walking around the plaza, you'll see all kinds of different statues over here and then over here. So as we enter this direction, the first palm tree we see, a double whammy of Bob Hope and Dick Clark. Gotta love Bob Hope. What a great one. He did so much for the USO, it's amazing. And Dick Clark, American Bandstand. Oldest teenager. And then we walk over here and we find Beatrice Arthur, also known as Dorothy Spornak and Maud. Norman Lear, creator of All in the Family and Sanford and Son and tons and tons of great television. Then we move along down here to find journalist Dan Rather. And Betty White, <laughs> Rose and Island. Then as we leave them, we come over here to find Lucy and Ricky. I do, I do. You can see <laughs> Lucy is primping herself. That's a really, really good Lucy too. I don't think the one in Palm Springs quite does it justice. But there's Desi. Let's see if we can get close enough. There you can see him. And then I see, which I didn't notice before, so it'll be new to us, there's someone sitting over here. Let's go take a look. Be good to her. Be good to her. So as we come over here, we find, oh, Archie and Edith. Archie with his cigar. And Edith. You can see Archie's cigar right there. Too bad they have him sitting over here in the shade. So now we're walking back over towards Lucy and Ricky and we're gonna hit the 
patch of people over here. So right here we have Phil Donahue from the Phil Donahue Show. Pat Weaver, executive. And Perry Como. Then over here we have Joyce Hall on the left, who I'm not sure who that is. It's an executive, it says. Then Patty Chayefsky, a writer, and Art Carney, Ed Norton, and also from Going In Style. Then we walk along here and we find Vivian Vance and William Frawley. These are new to me. I didn't see these last time. Fred and Ethel. Fred Mertz. And over here we have Ernie Kovacs and Earl Hagen. All right, we've seen them all over here. Now let's go over to the Hall of Fame garden. So that brings us back around the front, past Lucy and Desi again, and we're gonna go to the other side of the semicircle over here. So as we pass B. Arthur, we're gonna go over here now. Hall of Fame Garden. Here we have Mary Tyler Moore. Not only known for the Mary Tyler Moore show, but all the spin-offs and everything that she produced with MTM. Walt Disney. And the great Carl Reiner. <laughs> Director of The Jerk. And the Dick Van Dyke show. And then we come down here. We have Carol Burnett. Tugging on the air. I wonder how they decide whether it's going to be a full figure or just a bust. Because I noticed Jackie Gleason was a full figure and Dick Van Dyke. Here's Ron Howard. Opie Taylor and Richie Cunningham. And famed director. Billionaire Ted, Ted Turner. That's they used to call him in wrestling when he owned WCW. Home of TBS, Turner Broadcasting Systems. Here we have Brandon Tartikoff, executive, used to be with NBC. Diane Carroll. And Harvey Corman. So now we have Carol Burnett, Harvey Corman, and Tim Conway, all from the Carol Burnett Show, represented here. Then we have Dinah Shore. Designer Bob Mackey. Michael Landon. Charles Ingalls. Highway to Heaven. Little Joe Cartwright. And we have Aaron Spelling, creator of Beverly Hills 90210, Melrose Place, Orange County, all those shows. Bob Schiffer. William Paley, and then this is the one, the last time I was here, I said, I don't have a clue who that is. And I go, but he's got a violin, so I don't know what the deal is with that. And then everybody goes, that's Jack Benny. Now we've heard firsthand stories from Noel Blank about Jack Benny stealing fried chicken and putting it in his pocket and having grease stains on his pockets because <laughs> he wanted to take the fried chicken out to, out for fishing the next day. And then here on these walls, they have some kind of odds and ends people. Very top, Jacques Cousteau, documentarian. And then you have Gene Roddenberry here from Star Trek. And then on this wall, right in the dead middle, you have two of my favorites, Gary Marshall and Sherwood Schwartz. You had the Brady Bunch. There's Ethel Winant, she was an executive that uh, well, she was the agent of Valerie Harper, helped Valerie Harper get Mary Tyler Moore show. Then we have William Shatner, Captain Kirk. And here's James L. Brooks, Mary Tyler Moore show, Lou Grant, Taxi, The Simpsons, Tracy Ullman show. 
absolute legend. All right, my friends, we've seen everything they have here on the grounds. I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's go get something to eat and go see that place I was telling you about. If that doesn't entice you, I don't know what would. St. Louis style ribs, the Black Bottom Southern Kitchen. Just a nice little corner establishment here. So like I said, I was just driving past this place yesterday and I said, you know what? I love Southern cooking. I gotta try it out. We gotta see how close to Macon, Georgia style this is. Now we already saw that they have Louisiana style ribs, so it could be any kind of Southern style food, but we gotta try it out, don't you think? So if you're coming here, you have to order online first. I just found that out, so we'll order online and they'll bring it out to us. Curbside pickup only. All right, so I think I'm gonna get the smoked brisket with a side of mac and cheese from what I'm looking at on here. It looks good to me. Nacho Mama's coleslaw. Cheat yet? Not yet, but we ordered it. Oh, look at that. I decided to bring it home. Cost $11, which it's actually pretty reasonable for this area, so kind of excited to try it out. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so a little food review. Everything was excellent. The brisket was phenomenal. Pulled apart really easily. There wasn't one bad part to it. The, uh, the barbecue sauce was amazing. The cornbread was amazing. And the macaroni and cheese was fantastic. So I highly recommend that place. It was called The Black Bottom. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a night. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. If you'd never seen the first time I went to the TV Academy Hall of Fame, I hope you enjoyed this trip. I couldn't really remember. I go over there every once in a while, but I hadn't been there in probably a year since my church has moved and since Sweetie Pie shut down. I just, I just hadn't been over there. And I love going, but you won't hear me complain too much about a free attraction, but I will complain about Whoever designed that, that was a poor place to put some of those statues because the shade is always covering them and it's not really doing the statues any justice. So I wish they would have rethought that. We're going to call it a night. I want to thank Joanne DePina, Teresa Ward, and Joanne Leviton for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye. <laughs>